What's up, my friends? So the abilities for the review unit has been released, and we have Erica and also Shivan. So as I thought, Erica is a Thunder unit, but I did not expect her to be a Thunder supporter, to be honest. Erica, Electro flashed and having you know okay attack. It's on the low side. Defense is fine, and health is on the low side as well. And we have. Her ability, Pentagram Retaliation, attack in any one of eight directions and deal 210% damage to enemies along the path and adjacent Tau while paralyzing one random enemy along the path. Reset all non-yellow Tau in range. So this ability is like a mix of a lot of abilities in the game uh firstly first we have attack in any eight direction that is a uh, ability similar to pitman so pitman can select any of eight directions and then you can attack in a line and then adjacent as well and then you also reset all non-yellow tiles so this is similar to charon charon can select two direction only actually and then you can hit a tree column and then you reset the tiles so Erika do something similar, but Erika does not push enemy around, except that she will paralyze unit along the way. So only one enemy will be paralyzed, though. This is actually, I think, very impressive abilities because I really already like paralyze a lot, especially after the inclusion of the elite mechanic and after the inclusion of arena uh, arena data this if you don't know if you can paralyze the enemy they pretty much can't do anything and they'll waste all their abilities and you can yong their convention and use the tower to get aurora time which is uh, very useful erica is definitely a very strong unit based on this ability alone and she has three cooldown pre entry strike my guess is the breakthrough 2 will be the pre entry strike and then uh, the breakthrough 5 will be hmm, not sure maybe the equipment or the paralyze i hope not the paralyze is a fantastic addition with lock behind the maximum breakthrough then it will be a shame but yeah definitely a very strong abilities and then let's look at her chain combo the so chain combo is unknown electro wave it is a column chain uh, at 5, 9, and 13. 5 is quite a hard number to reach, but that is pretty much similar to every single column chain unit, so that's not really a problem. It is a pretty low multiplier, only 120, and at 13 chain is 135. Uh, I guess that's because she's a support, not sure. And then. Her equipment is Paranormal Thunder, increased Erica damage by 4% to enemy on yellow tile for every cluster away and Grand Thunder Aurorian teammate a 50% damage bonus. Uh, I, I bet most people will look at this and think, wow, 50% damage bonus? That's OP. Well, it's mistranslation. So uh, the equipment is uh, favoring snipers because, well, it's really hard to attack enemy far away if you are detonator. So uh, the further away you are from the enemy, the more damage bonus you get from the equipment. 4% per cluster. Uh, realistically, you're gonna get 3 clusters, so around 12% damage bonus. And the enemy has to sit on the yellow tile as well. It doesn't say per yellow tile, so uh, 1 is enough for 4x4 four, four four tile enemies. And the Grand Thunder Aurorian teammate damage is not what you think. It's uh, it's a mistranslation. Uh, people on the Reddit has reviewed the Japanese translation and the Korean translation. It basically means uh, your Thunder Aurorian get half of what Erika is having from the equipment bonus. Uh, so if Erika is having 4%, then the Thunder Aurorian in your team will getting 2%. If Erika is having 12%, then your Thunder Aurorian in your team will get 6%. Uh, so it's not 50% damage bonus. That will be broken as heck. So yeah, keep on dreaming. <laughs> so what is the verdict of this character? It is fine. It, it, it's uh, very much focusing on the active skill. In my opinion, very strong active skill. You get a little bit of conversion because reset is... I mean, re resetting that much tile, you bound to get one yellow tile, come on. And then paralyzing, obviously very strong for elite monsters, very strong for arena. 
and the damage is not bad 210 percent for a three column it's not bad and then uh since it's three cooldown you get the preemptive strike on probably break two two pretty easy to get and then the equipment is not bad uh, it, it buffed the damage pretty easily because yellow tile is not that hard to get but i don't think this is definitely a must have or anything it's a solid unit if you have it it will help in elite monsters that's pretty much it but uh, outside of that you can still use her because she can reset tiles it's like a bunch of things uh, added together but it's not bad because every single thing in her kit is like good uh, you will find use for her if you get her. That's what I mean. But she is definitely not OP in any sense. And then now we have Shivon. So Shivon is Silky Web. She is actually a forest unit. I was wrong. I thought she was a Thunder or Fire. Apparently, I guess, animal closer to the forest. So forest, I guess. So forest element, she is a six star as I thought, and 6 stock converter as well. And stat-wise, pretty similar to most converters, very low, but I mean, it's a tower converters. Most tower converters have low attack to compensate their very useful abilities, very low health and defense as well. But yeah, her active skill, spider, spider domain, select one tile and select another tile to confirm a two by two or one by four range and convert the tiles with to green the two select the tile will become enhanced tile during aurora time reach 15 chain combo to reduce the active skill cooldown by one hmm. it is quite good and it's three cooldown preemptive strike meaning most likely you get preemptive strike on the second breakthrough but it is a six star so getting two copies like mm, that hurts really hard to get um no pre-entry strike from the get-go is my guess and then on the maximum breakthrough my guess is probably the enhanced tile or the aurora time reduced cooldown the the ability is fine i it's like iridon but a little bit worse <laughs> not really because prison tile is much harder to use and this one you have a little bit more flexibility you can make it a two by two or one by four any direction you want any place you want uh but it's not as flexible as hero you can select anywhere but it, it is more tiles than hero so the active skill is definitely strong but because i think forest is so stacked right now another converter it's nice to have but it's definitely not necessary and then her chain combo, we got 4, 9, and 13 chain. And it's 145 to 2 nearest enemy within 4 surrounding cluster. That's a huge range. I don't think you guys know how big is 4 surrounding cluster. Like 4 is like almost a whole map. So yeah, you're pretty much able to hit anything with uh, Sivan. And then uh, we have the 13 chain, which is global. Oh, not global. The all enemies uh, on Forest Landing Cluster, 150%. It's not very high for a cyber, to be honest. The multiplier. Well, it's not a cyber. Uh, she's a converter. But yeah, it's fine, I guess. It's a nice chain. Well, not really nice, but you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. It, it's a standard chain. And then her equipment, which is, I think, her strong suit, web shield, gain web mark, clear or stack before taking damage, and gain shield equal to 15% of Sivant defense for every stack clear. If web mark stack are more than 10, gain an additional shield equal to 50% of Sivant health um, when gaining shield from wet mark. So wet mark, uh, gain one stack for every green tile pass and three stack for every enhanced green tile up to 99 stack. So this is definitely a pretty good-ish, it's a good-ish equipment. Um, when you were to get hit, you would uh, create a massive shield and take the damage. So you don't have to take the damage yourself. So Sivan is kind of like a hybrid converter and hybrid healer kind of because you prevent the damage. So it's kind of like a healer. Um, and then the shield is nothing to scoff at. A 15 tiles is around, wait, let me calculate this. So walking on 15 tiles, you get 2,243 uh, shield. You get a 50% shield or based on the Sivan health. That is around 3,500 shield for 15 tiles. 
that is enough to tank pretty much most hit for a normal monster for a bigger monster you probably need double of that to tank the both hits um the only problem i see is if there's a lot of monster on the field you might just waste this for um, like <laughs> a normal eclipse like hit so you can waste all your shield but it is quite good because it, it, it's kind of like a passive healing that you don't really need to do much because well if you're using a forest converter you obviously going to use a lot of green tiles and you can maybe don't even need to use healer because of Shivan. what's my thought for Shivan? i think first of all she's very hot so there is already one reason to summon and her ability is nice especially because uh, entering aurora time or during aurora time oh it's during okay that's really hard to reach then um it's a nice converter and then you have a really interesting equipment skill helping you to survive i think shivon is a very solid <laughs> unit again is it broken not quite but definitely a very very solid unit and you would not regret getting her but should you get her it's definitely up to you because she is not limited uh i think i am fine with her coming to my pool of units during um an off banner or something but i will still do a 10 pulls obviously um just to get a guarantee five stars but siobhan is a very solid unit so what do you guys think do you would you summon for siobhan or would you summon for erica leave the comment and let me know i'll see you next time peace